What's your read on the action that we've seen from the United States and the subsequent reaction from Mexico, Canada and the EU? Does this change the overall trading dynamic for markets moving forward? I'm actually not sure that it does. And as you know, I've been uh, cautious on the markets many times over. This isn't actually something that gets me all that cautious. And the reason is really that in order to understand Trump, I encourage anybody to read his book, The Art of the Deal. This is classic Trump. He likes to bully people and so that he can then come up with a quote unquote deal. The question is, can he make a deal? I happen to think that with the NAFTA partners, it will be possible because they're already deeply in negotiations and then he can claim quote unquote victory um, if he only then goes back on the tariffs. With the Europeans, it's more difficult because they are too bureaucratic in Europe to strike a deal. You can strike a deal with an autocrat in China maybe, but you cannot do it with a bureaucratic machinery. So with, with the European Union, I don't think they're going to get a quote-unquote deal. That said, as far as kind of the economic relevance is concerned of these, um, it is not that huge as the Secretary, um, the Commerce Secretary says. And so from that point of view, I don't think it's going to make that much of an impact on the markets. Now, all that said, um, I do think volatility is going to remain elevated. And for that reason, I think, yes, investors should be cautious. But the trade, it, um, it, trade um, issues really real today aren't really all that um, surprising. I think much of this has, has been well known and well signaled. So Axel, what do you think is the best way to play it then? The Dow dropping about 250 points to close out the month of May. Should investors be buying this trade war dip? Of course, you mentioned there's going to be more volatility ahead, but is there also opportunity in this? Well, I'm not so sure whether today's market move. I mean, we always like to attribute every move to a specific news item. Um, and uh, we've had lots and lots of news. I mean, there was a barrage of news at, at market close. Tomorrow morning, we have a non-farm uh, payroll report. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, U.S. time, uh, we have a non-farm payroll report that I think is going to be far more relevant to the markets. I think investors should look at their portfolio in general. I have alleged many times over that in this nine-year bull market we've had, um, that investors haven't taken chips off the table, haven't stress tested the portfolio. And there is, it's high time that investors do that. And if they, if they haven't rebalanced their portfolio, odds are that the equity portion is higher than, uh, than uh, the rest, rest of the portfolio. And so for that reason alone, investors may want to take chips off the table. Now, personally, I'm more cautious on the markets, not because of trade, but in general because of higher volatility. I happen to think the market is underpricing rate hikes at the Fed. I think the, the, the Federal Reserve hasn't been spooked by anything that has happened in Europe uh, because I don't think they consider that a spillover unless and until it happens. Similarly on trade, they're not going to be acting preemptively. Inflationary pressures are going to increase. I think we're going to see wage pressures increase in the norm from payroll report. And so there I'm concerned that rates are going to move higher. And for that reason, I'm concerned on the markets. So if one can play rates directly, anybody who has access to those derivatives, I would encourage looking at that. But other than that, yes, um, take chips off the table on the equity side, uh, mostly because of the Federal Reserve steaming ahead in light of all of this still watching perfect click here to watch another great video from cnbc international oh and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching